There's no way you can serve this God. And God doesn't God doesn't bless you with a good spouse. No way. No way. I see. No way. As long as you are doing what you have to do, God is seeing the fight you're fighting. God is seeing the things that you are doing to be upright. God is seeing the amount of women and men that you have chased out of your life because of their nonsense. Because they think it's shortcut. And some people will say, well, we are going to get married anyway. Don't worry. Satan will catch up with you in a few years to come. And Satan will come to re recover, collect the relationship that he, that was built on him, upon him, upon his uh, uh, works, immorality. So, I want us to go to Mark chapter 7, verse 8 to 9. Mark 7, 8 and 9. I'm going to read. Lay aside the covenant of God. You hold the tradition of men, the washing of pictures and cups, and many other such things you do. Now, one of the reasons why many cannot break through from what they are going through is because of tradition. Tradition has made a lot of people not to get out of these addictions, these challenges. Now, you know, some people ask me, for example, I am a Presbyterian Christian. I am a Catholic Christian. Which one is Presbyterian, Catholic, Baptist, Methodist? Which one? If you are Christian, you are Christian. Don't try and make as if you are trying to separate yourself. Some people will say, okay, uh, are we supposed to be speaking in other tongues? And are we supposed to force us to speak in other tongues? What does the book of Mark say? These signs for your those who believe speaking in tongues. Some people will say, um, is baptism with sprinkling or with immersion best? What does the Bible say? You follow Jesus. Jesus did immersion. Some people will still want to do carnival. Will still want to go for carnival because it's a cultural thing. Some people will still want to go for dead celebrations and shave all their hair. Some people will still want to do, will lick palm oil in the name of uh, Bon House. Uh, I've just given birth. My auntie has given birth. So let's go and lick the oil that they have put in the child. Tradition, a tradition, we don't want to leave anything traditional. And these are one of the things that are keeping us bound. Keeping us, causing us not to go, not to, not to leave this. You know, you know the tradition of going to the club every weekend. You must go, you must have a beer every, every after work. The tradition of that, the tradition of that, uh, you, you must do certain things in a particular way. Why don't you just be a Christian and follow what God says in the Bible? What is so difficult with that? We know that what we normally call tradition or culture is witchcraft. It's actually witchcraft. It's not all of us have the grace to carry the presence of God continuously. That's because of our activities, our distractions in life. So you have to make a conscious decision to create the presence of God around you. The Holy Spirit moves in you, yes, when you have become a Christian. But yes, you need to create that environment that environment for the presence of God to inhabit. Being the presence of God is very important. If the man of God, the woman of God makes you angry, come and hear about God. Because in the presence of joy, there is fullness of joy. When you come to the presence of God, when you, when you, when you, when you are going to church, let me say, there is a between joy and happiness. Two different things. Joy is a thing of the soul. Happiness is a thing of emotion. emotion. And emotions can easily be taken away. But joy is deeper it's something that is involved with your willpower, your mind, your, your thoughts, everything. And this is why when you are going to church, when you are coming to the presence of God, take a picture of yourself. After the church service, take another picture, compare, you see the difference. I want to encourage you to create the presence of God in your environment. Many of us, or many of you are struggling, is because you are not in a harboring the presence of God. You are not subjecting yourself everything to the presence of god you also have to do with your business your marriage your family everything subjected under the presence of god force it force it to obey to obey god you can never come in the presence of god and come on a live podcast like this and leave the same something must happen controls you owns you controls your thoughts Owns you, has power over you. 
what I said about family, please take it very seriously. What I said about your family, take it very seriously. What I said about your environment, creating the peace of God, the presence of God, important. Such as even you open the Bible, open the Bible, you don't understand anything. You don't understand anything in the Bible. Huh? Keep reading. When you stop, you stop. You kneel down, you pray the prayer you have to pray. Even if it doesn't make sense, what is prayer? Prayer is saying what is in your heart. Prayer is talking to your father. Say it. When you feel like you want to pray and you are sleeping and your thoughts are going, play gospel music. If you cannot sing, if you don't have a, a good voice to sing when you are doing worship, play gospel music. Sing to the gospel music. Sing for one hour. Kneel down. So, subject to your thoughts. You have to kneel down. It's a discipline with kneeling down. When you kneel down, you are subjecting the flesh in you. The flesh that is saying, stand up. Demon cannot be kneeling down. So they always make you feel that your knees are about to cut off. So get your body one hour first. You take pillow, put it there, knee down. If the pillow is not stopping, you take another one, add knee down. If they're not lying on your stomach, you must subject. You know, if demon cannot stay in your body and you are kneeling down, they will jump out and go away. First, first, first. You cannot be doing worship and kneeling down. Pray and kneeling down and the demon is still inside of your body. These are the secrets I'm giving you. These are the secrets I'm giving you. Get into live sessions, you see people talking about things that are not godly. Switch it. People are talking about it to stay there. You may be keeping this body, but you learn one thing. 